What's up everybody, my name is Will and I'm coming at you with a brand new video on length retention. Before we go ahead and get into the video, make sure to subscribe. I will be putting out natural hair videos every Friday or Saturday, I don't know. I don't have a schedule yet, okay, I'm cool for the summer. I'm gonna give all of you some tips today on how to retain length. I've been growing my hair out for about two years now. Whoa, wait, that's totally wrong, two and a half years now. I've been able to retain some length and it's all due to these tips that I'm gonna be giving you today. Now I know, more more than anything that it is painful okay it's almost excruciating especially when you're just starting out to sit and wait and to look at your hair every day examining whether or not your hair has grown most of us have been waiting a long periodically time for our hair to grow I want to give you guys some tips on how to speed up that process without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> Tip number one, protective styling. I really can't stress to you enough how important protective styling is. We've got braids, okay, twists, weaves, okay. We even got things called a rolling tuck, which sounds like a medical procedure, but okay, okay, okay. Be blessed and be sure to check out this video where I show you some of my favorite protective styles. But really, our hair is always growing, whether you believe it or not. It's just that the simultaneous breakage at the ends of our hair creates this illusion that our hair actually isn't growing. So the primary way to retain length is to stop breakage. And uh, the way to do that is to protective style. Tip number two, trim, trim, trim. Oh my God, a lot of people are so afraid of trimming their hair, but trust me, it is essential. Your hair breaks way too much, you need to cut it. Your hair breaks way too much. Split ends are real and they'll split right on up to the root of every one of your hair strands until they fall out. I like to trim generally every three months. Some people do it every six months, um, but I found what works for me is to trim every three months. And I do trim myself because those hair salon prices are what? Way too high and they need to cut it. Tip number three, use water as often as possible. Water is the key to moisturized hair. Without it, you're serving me Arizona desert, okay? You're serving me um, that one movie Holes with Shia LaBeouf and you don't wanna be serving me that. You need to put water in that, okay? You need to put water in that. Lack of moisture reduces your hair's ability to bend and to extend friction and that's just causing excess breakage. Adding water to your hair and sealing it with a cream or an oil will have you tripping over your hair in no time. Tip number four, deep condition your hair. Some people do it every week, some people do it every two weeks, some people do it once a month. The important thing is to establish a regimen that works for you, one that you can stick by. Give your hair the love it deserves, give yourself the love you deserve, replenish your hair with all those nutrients it needs to grow, and you'll be, you'll be good. Your hair will be looking all gorgeous and silky and beautiful and curly and like, you know, all those good things. Healthy hair is good hair. Baby, it's you! Tip number five, stay away from heat, shampoo, and anything else that just creates unnecessary breakage or dryness. Also, just generally stay away from beauty brands and hair salons that clearly do not include you, that clearly exclude you, that do not work with your type of hair. Not worth it. Repetitive scorching of your hair with flat irons, blow dryers, curling irons will not get you to the land of Oz, okay? It'll get you to the land of limp hair, heat damage, and breakage. Shampoo is like the ultimate drying agent. Instead, use a clarifier like apple cider vinegar, for example, to remove Remove all that product buildup. Brands and beauty products that just aren't here for you, okay? And you know the ones, the ones that feature some woman dismounting a horse and she has like 15 bundles of like 35,000 inch Remy. <laughs> she just gets off the horse and she's like, I got a bucket, got a bucket for the sunshine. Don't be looking a fool out here, they all say the same thing. You know, this shampoo is going to give you life, okay? No. It's going to give you dry hair. Let's stay away from those beauty brands and those hair salons that clearly are not here for us. If they're not putting effort into learning about your hair and how it works, then they don't deserve your money. All right, everybody, that's it for the tips today on how to retain length. If anything was helpful, please subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, share it with other people who want long, healthy hair. Remember, I make natural hair videos every Friday or Saturday. I have a bunch more tips, but if you have some tips yourself, um, please leave a comment and let me know because I'm I'm still, you know, working on it too. I'm still trying to get that booty length hair, you know what I'm saying? Thanks again for tuning in to Will on a Whim Natural Hair Edition. I'll see all of you in the next video.